Germany is most recognized for its well-known Oktoberfest and its involvement in World War II, but it also has some of Europe's most breathtaking landscapes, castles straight out of fairy tales, significant historic monuments, and vibrant party scenes. Germany, which is centrally located on the continent, continues to have the strongest economy. Here is a top 10 list of destinations in Germany. Number 10, Rügen Island. The largest island in Germany, Rügen Island, is situated in the Baltic Sea and is connected to the mainland by a causeway and bridge. Tourists are drawn to the charming villas, romantic coastal resorts, and stunning beaches. Rügen Island, but the Yasmin National Park, famous for its distinctive chalk cliffs soaring 528 feet over the sea, is the main draw. Rügen Island's Cape Arkana, the northernmost point of East Germany, is another noteworthy feature. Here, visitors may see a historic lighthouse, the ruins of a Slavic castle, and a charming fishing village. Number nine, Rothenburg. Situated in Bavaria on a plateau with a view of the Tauber River is the fortified city of Rothenburg. Like something out of a fairy tale, the town is renowned for having a remarkably intact medieval core. Visit the town hall, which has served as the city's center of governance since the Middle Ages. For breathtaking views of the city, ascend the tower's steps located on the 13th century hall. Rothenburg is also well known for its year-round Christmas merchandise businesses and its spectacular annual Christmas market in December. Number eight, the Zugspitze. Traveling to the spectacular Zugspitze mountain will undoubtedly give you a taste of what it's like to be on top of the world, or at least Germany. With a top elevation of 2,962 meters, this mountain is Germany's highest straddling the border between Austria and Germany. Situated amidst precipitous valleys, the vista from the summit encapsulates over 400 mountains dispersed throughout the nations. It goes without saying that climbing the mountain is worthwhile, and fortunately, there are two ways to accomplish this. Use the mountain railway Bayerische Zugspitzbahn or board one of the three cable cars. The latter travels to the Zugspitzplatt Glacier Station from the Garmisch Zugspitzbahnhof, making stops at intermediate stations along route. In the meantime, it only takes 10 minutes for guests to reach the summit by the world record-breaking cable car. Once at the summit, you can eat at one of the three restaurants situated at various stations and take in the breathtaking 360-degree views. Zugspitze is also a fantastic choice if you're in the mood for a winter getaway and some action on the slopes, as there are many ski resorts in the area. Number seven, Cologne. One of the most visited sites in Germany is Cologne, which is located in the federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia on the Rhine River. The city has an amazing arts and culture scene, a bustling nightlife, and a vibrant selection of activities. Impressive landmarks may also be found in Cologne, including the magnificent Gothic Cologne Cathedral, which serves as the city's unofficial emblem. In addition, the 12 Romanesque churches are outstanding illustrations of medieval building design. Number six, Romantic Rhine. The Rhine Gorge is a striking geological structure that the Middle Rhine runs through as it stretches between the German cities of Bingen and Bonn. This area has a breathtaking environment with over 40 castles from the Middle Ages, scattered throughout the charming villages and terraced vineyards. The most well-known natural feature in the area is the Lorelei, the narrowest and deepest part of the Rhine Gorge. It has a big, dangerous rock that has been the source of multiple boating catastrophes before the 19th century. A riverboat tour is the ideal way to see the romantic Rhine. Number five, the Black Forest. The Schwarzwald is a more than 6,000 sq kilometer forest that borders both France and Switzerland, with its slopes covered with spruce trees, deep valleys interrupted by glistening lakes, and its traditional villages and farmsteads. This fascinating rural playground begs to be explored on foot by bicycle or by automobile. If you're short on time, there are some breathtaking views when you drive from Baden-Baden to Freudenstadt along the Black Forest High Road. If you have more time though, you should think about climbing the 12 kilometer Feldbergsteig or the 40 Kiener Panorama Wig to the top of the forest. Population centers you should definitely visit are Alpirsbach with its 11th century Benedictine monastery, Freiburg, a laid back university town, and Triburg with its waterfall and cuckoo clocks. Number four, Dresden. 
Dresden, with its opulent collection of breathtaking art and architecture, was dubbed the Jewel Box until it was badly devastated by World War II bombers. The city has regained a lot of its previous splendor after many years. Dresden, the capital of the federal state of Saxony, is home to several historic locations, including the magnificent Frauenkirche Cathedral. The Semper Opera is the most well-known of the city's numerous cultural organizations. Number three, Schloss Neuschwanstein. In relation to Sleeping Beauty, Walt Disney drew inspiration for the Disneyland Palace from a stunningly gorgeous castle located in Germany. The gem in the crown of Europe's fairy tale castles, Schloss Neuschwanstein is tucked away in the highlands of the Bavarian Alps and is one of the most visited sites in Germany. Ludwig II of Bavaria ordered the magnificent palace in 1869 solely for his own enjoyment, and it is well known for its graceful spires that rise from the tops of the trees. No matter how old you are, exploring the magnificent castle will probably let your imagination run wild, especially when you come to a mystical grotto and a throne room with a massive chandelier in the style of a crown. The good news is that you can always board a charming horse-drawn carriage and ride to the top if you don't feel like laboring upwards for half an hour to get there. That's the royal treatment. How about that? You are welcome to explore the opulent Schloss Hohenschwangau Neues Schloss Herrenschimsee and the Schloss Linderhof, three more of King Ludwig's Bavarian castles. Number two, Munich. Munich, one of the greatest destinations in Germany with a vibrant cultural scene, is most known for being the birthplace of the internationally recognized Oktoberfest. Munich is home to a number of prestigious theaters and opera houses, including the National Theater, the City Center, which is brimming with old cathedrals, medieval fortifications, and royal palaces, in addition to busy retail malls and exciting nightlife, is an appealing blend of classic and modern architecture. Oktoberfest in Munich started in 1810 as a celebration of a royal wedding. Millions of people attend this well-known celebration each year to partake in the festivities, which include massive beer tents, mouth-watering Bavarian fare, and millions of liters of beer. Number one, Berlin. Berlin, the nation's capital, is most known for its role in World War II and for being the site of the Berlin Wall's split of Germany into East and West during the Cold War. Since the historic wall fell in 1989, Berlin has grown into a sizable, cohesive metropolis with a wide variety of ethnic groups, as well as an abundance of places to see, cultural events, and nightlife. Berlin's iconic historic buildings, such as the Reichstag and the Brandenburg Gate, attract a lot of tourists. Some sections of the Berlin Wall remain in place close to the Reichstag and Checkpoint Charlie, despite the wall having been mostly destroyed.